Um, am I talking about curriculum in general? Like the idea of curriculum? Um, curriculum's tricky. You want basics. You want students to learn certain things. You want them to be able to do simple maths, things like that. You want them to know earth sciences and how the weather works and social sciences and all that. But as you get older, I feel like the curriculum should be something that flows from the teacher and not from any kind of standard model. I mean, it's better, I think, not to read Hegel at all, not to read Benjamin or any of them at all if you have a teacher who's boring, who doesn't care, who doesn't know, who's just teaching it because it's part of the course. I'd much rather learn the driest kind of logical calculus from Frege or whoever that was by someone who's passionate and cares about it, by someone who likes it, by someone who has enthusiasm about it. Um, because otherwise you can be taught to hate something that's great. I mean, if I was taught Heidegger by people who were really boring and awful, I'd never look at him again. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess that's it for me. Curriculum should be something that flows from the professor. I mean, I've never been abroad before this, so I mean, it's a lot of feelings at once. But I mean, I'm very, I'm very pleased with it. I know everywhere else that I've looked for for graduate programs, none of the curriculum. <laughs> looked like something I wanted to do. They were all only tangentially related. Most of the work I was going to do was going to have you by myself. Like, it's nice to have classes and professors with people who are teaching what I want to learn. Um, and they're great, too. Like, it's very impressive that you can, like, go somewhere with, like, this many really wonderful faculty. Um, but, yeah, and the setting's not bad either. Um, but, no, I mean, it's been, it's, it's been a privilege to be able to do this kind of work here.